Hey everyone, this is Jennifer and today I want to talk about the planners that I've been playing around with for the month of June, kind of May into June, in an effort to nail down my decision for July. And I just want to go over the spreads, kind of talk about what I like about each layout, um, what didn't work for me, and then we'll talk about where I'm headed for July. So really I tried or considered five different planners. I have a horizontal from Erin Condren, a vertical from Erin Condren, the compact vertical from Erin Condren, and the amplify planner. Horizontal, I should say that. So I am going to just start with this one because it's on bottom here. And flip to July. I think that's where I did a couple of playing around pages. Um, the Erin Condren Vertical Planner is kind of where it all started for me back in 2014. They didn't offer a lot of other layouts and the Vertical Planner worked really well for me. Then they released the hourly layout, which is what I've been in for several years. So that is the fifth planner that you didn't really see in the stack. I didn't need to play around in the hourly because I've been planning in it as my main planner for so long. So I already know if this sort of planner or layout is going to work for me, but I did want to consider moving back to a vertical layout. Um, and what I found was it really felt like home to me. Um, I like that there's color on the page. So if I wanted to use my bold bloom stickers, I could do that. But if I wanted to just cover it up with one strip of washi and have a neutral page for the rest of my stickers, I could do that too. I did not feel cramped for space in this planner. Everything kind of flowed naturally for me. And in my mind, it's still I still use it as an hourly, it's just not timed for me. So I do plan chronologically with my things like at 8.30 in the morning here, then 9.30 and then so on down my day, evening things down here. And I like how this looked um, when the pages were done. So this was a contender for me. going to leave this kind of here on screen if I can. We'll see how much room I have. I pulled this next one. This is the Erin Condren Horizontal. It's actually a January 2024 start. Um, I forgot that I had purchased this on sale back in like November-ish and so I actually planned out a week on the correct pages. And I absolutely love how this looks. Um, my problem is, is if I use these wider stickers how I like to, because I think they look really nice, there's not a room, there's not a lot of room left for to-do listing. I also feel like I'm cramped in my this week or notes section, but again, I love how it looks. I think that I could make this work if I was like always on summer break or just used it for high level um, tasks and used my daily for all the to-do listings, which is a possibility. Um, but I also don't know that I want to force myself in like that where I have to use this only as an overview because there's not a lot of space, but I do absolutely love how it looks. So there is a look at the horizontal spread. I tried another horizontal planner and I don't know why, but I feel like this one had even more room than the one I just showed you. This is the Amplify planner. It is, this version is the monthly, weekly, daily. And I don't know why, 
I think, well, actually I do when I look at this. So let's look at a blank weekly real quick. Unlike the Erin Condren horizontal, it's just all grid space. There's no section over here. And I feel like I lost this planning space. Um, could I move these events over? Yes, but then it would be like in a white section with a lined section. And I don't know that I prefer that. And the reason that I had so much more room in this horizontal was because I made my own section. And instead of using those larger labels for events and appointments, I used just regular one and a half inch width stickers for that. And then that left me basically two columns for to-do listing. I didn't even go in and fill in uh, my to-do list for these days, but I absolutely loved how this turned out. And if I was going a horizontal route, I would pick this over this. I also tried the Erin Condren 7x9 Compact Vertical. This was a new size for this layout. They previously offered the Compact Vertical only in A5, and typically I already know that A5 size is not going to work for me. So when I saw that they had this in the 7x9 size, I had to give it a go. And same sort of thing. So in this, I will say, as I was planning, and I have Plan With Me videos up for all of these, I think I'll just link the playlist for you if you're interested. Um, it didn't flow as well. Like, I really had to sit down and think about, okay, now I have to do church. Now I have to do my to-do list. Now I have to do what have you. And I don't know if it's just because of the layout that I'm not used to. I'll show you a blank page too. Um, but it did not flow as easily. I do think that I could get into this planner once, you know, I used it a few weeks. I think it would start coming more naturally for me. I do enjoy how this turned out. But again, I think I'm a little bit cramped for space. I could probably make it work if I split every single column in two, but I don't know if I want to do that. The other thing that you need to kind of know about me is that I really do like space between my stickers and my handwriting. I like white space. I don't want everything crammed. I would rather have more room than I need and leave it blank than feel like I don't have room to put it put everything down. So although this is beautiful, I don't think that this is going to be my main planner for July. Okay, let's talk about what decision I made for my weekly planner. I decided I was going to, in July, this is only the beginning of June as I am talking this out with you guys, I decided I was going to use the Vertical Life Planner um, as my main planner, sort of, because I also really liked that horizontal layout in the Amplify Planner. And I did pick this one up. That is just their weekly with no daily. And I'll talk about why I didn't need the daily in here in just a minute. So really, I have narrowed down to these two planners and typically my weekly planner since 2014 has been my archive. And what I mean is I always keep that one planner up to date. It has been an Erin Condren planner in the past, either the vertical or the hourly. I save them at the end of the year. And yes, I do go back and reference them. It helps with planning things that happen, you know, the same sort of time every year. And I enjoy looking back on them. And then I have a record of the entire year in one book, which has been important to me in the past. So I think that I'm going to use my daily planner as my archive, which means I could kind of go back and forth between this vertical and this horizontal since I have my archive in my daily for July 2024 through June 2025. 
Um, I'm not going to nail myself down with a decision between the two of these because I do have that freedom now that I have my archive nailed down. Um, but I don't know. I like both of these layouts and we're going to continue to play around. And as always, I say as a disclaimer, of course, I might change my mind yet again and, you know, pull out one of these other planners that I just talked about. I don't know. But as of now, I'm going to be using these two weeklies. Okay, let's talk about the daily archive that kind of sealed the deal for me. I have been using this day designer um, for some time now. When I first purchased it, I used it um, as a work planner. So it has a lot of confidential information in the front. But I think around March, I started, maybe April. In April, I started kind of using this as my daily. And I really have enjoyed it. Um, it's been my favorite daily by far that I, I have tried. And I like it with the Planner Kate stickers. I like it without the Planner Kate stickers. I absolutely adore how the Pilot G2 writes on this paper. And I thought, I'm just going to keep doing that. And the other thing is, if I'm honest, I need a daily planner. Um, I don't always use it. There are days where the, it looks like this because I didn't sit down and take the time to write out my list. But if I am honest, if I write down everything that I need to do or the things that I do during the day, it's not going to fit in any weekly planner. It would just be way too cluttered. And a daily this size gives me room to spread out. So then I thought, if that's the case, why not make this my archive? It has room for everything that I need. I can even put pictures in here if I would like. Here's an example of one where I did kind of minimal stickering on the schedule and the to-do list and then included a memory and I love how that looks. So in all honesty, this makes the perfect archive for me. Um, I did purchase my July start day designer and have already started moving in. I don't know about the timing of these videos, but this will be a separate video, how I set up all of my pages. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I did use some Planner Kate dashboards on some pages. Um, this is my favorite year at a glance in any planner. I just like the layout and the, ho the holidays. The weekends are shaded. It's a Monday start. It just really works well for me. So I like that. And then I put my birthdays all down in here on the birthdays page using the Planner Kate Earth Tones colorway. And I am just ready to roll in this planner. So here's where we are headed for July. This is going to be my archive. And these two weeklies are going to be what I'm playing around with. Um, it might iron out where I'm in one more. It might iron out that I'm in one more than the other. But every day I'll be using my day designer daily. And then I'm going to be playing around between these two weeklies, the Amplify and the Vertical from Erin Condren. So you'll have to let me know if you have questions about any of those planners that I tried out. Um, I think I even have like in my description below a little bit more about me. There, There's not a planner I've met that I didn't like and that is true and it's kind of to a fault. I could go get a planner from Walmart and make it work and like it and enjoy it and it would make me more pro productive. All of those things. Um, so this just makes my decision that much harder when there are so many absolutely wonderful planners out on the market. But I don't have the time to plan in every planner in the world. So in my attempt to narrow things down and stay a little bit more consistent, this is the decision I have reached for now. And of course, as I get bored or something new catches my eye, um, we will go from there, which is what it's all about. Um, thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you back next time. <laughs>